way that's a secret for you all now. You'll wonder. I'm mysterious. And I'm stuck on the mic stand. <sighs> Thank you for coming to my intro. <laughs> my name is Amanda, and if my comedy was in a Hogwarts house, it would be Riffindor. Right. My name is Amanda, and all the podcasts I listen to have ads for therapists. Right. All right, all right. This was a litmus test. There are not a lot of millennials here tonight. No one here who loved the early 2000s Amanda Bynes classic, The Amanda Show. That's okay. Millenni oh, oh, you guys like it? Shit. Oh, shit. I was about to start talking smack. Never mind. Um, but you guys were honest with me, though, and I appreciate your honesty. Uh, I want to be honest with you, so between you guys, me, and everyone who watches this on YouTube later, uh, can I confess something to y'all real quick? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. you just to you guys. Okay. Um, whew, this is really scary now, because I, I just have to tell you this. What's your name? Um, Lane. Lane. Okay, Lane. Um, I am a proud bitch drink buyer. Whew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sensing some confusion. Um, I'm sensing a lot of confusion. So for clarity, bitch drinks have 14 words in the name and 15 ingredients in the drink. <laughs> bitch drinks taste like what a Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper looks like. That's for the millennials. Um, bitch drinks are delicious up until they're dangerous, and I get that. I get that. Um, stated differently, a bitch drink is an adult beverage that is delightful to consume. Juxtapose this, if you will, against mandranks. Mandranks taste like swallowing campfire logs so that you don't have to put it out. <laughs> mandranks are what you drink when you want to prove yourself rather than enjoy yourself. Um, and if you're confused about which category you fall in, think about this with me. Do a thought experiment. We can do by applause. Um, if you're in the woods and you're starving to death, you see a tree. If you're a bitch drink buyer, you're gonna pluck a fruit from that tree, and you're gonna eat it, and that shit's gonna be good. If you're a man drink buyer, you're gnawing on the bark. Why are you doing that? Why? Why are you, don't need the fiber, why are you doing that? It's crazy, it's crazy. Um, but all that said, I do still drink man drinks, usually for one specific purpose. Do you guys remember bars? <laughs> going to bars and how if you had boobs and no male chaperone like a guy was gonna come get you and be like can I buy you a drink and you'd be like oh he has to die now so you'd be like oh my god yes yes let's do a shot of tequila and he'd be like oh you freak though you freak and you'd be like I don't know maybe with some tequila I might be a freak I don't know I don't know um so he'd order the shots and you'd see the bartender become a bit character in your plot now. And you feel kind of bad, but you gotta let him do it because we're committed now. So he cuts the lime, gets the salt shaker, makes the virgin sacrifice, does the whole thing to prepare one fucking shot of tequila, right? And then the guy, because he knows what makes a woman aroused, grabs the shot glass like a crane game. Nothing sexier than this. And he hands it to you, and you're like, oh, yeah, thank you so much. I, just, I don't drink much. That's a lie. We all know it's a lie. And so you go, cheers, and you clink the glasses, and when he turns away, licks his hand, salts it, and does the lime bit, uh, you've already taken the shot, neat, and left to another bar. <laughs> I see some of you not laughing, and it's because I recognize you, and I've done this to you, and you're still fucking bitter. <laughs> Get over it, it was clever. You never saw it coming. <laughs> I will just say one more quick thing, really fast. Um, bags. It's called bags. You assholes call it cornhole. It's not cornhole. You're not throwing corn into a hole. You're throwing bags filled with beans. Was bean hole too gross for y'all? Like, cornhole sounds like it's in the rural Kama Sutra, and you're telling me that sounds like a fun game to you? It's not. I'm so surprised that half of you didn't just get up and leave. Like, that was, I was like, let's polarize the audience and then pass it off. <laughs> but you guys are fun. And now you know you can leave a little smarter and a little happier. 
that it's bags. <laughs> right? Can we agree it's bags? Yeah. I'm seeing some nods. Yes. I see the people shaking your head. You're all too rural for this. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've been Amanda and Marino, and have a great night.